everyone welcome to this tutorial it's like the first one in three years that I filmed um, I'm on my phone so sorry if the quality is not super great but I filmed this really awesome purple look totally feeling the purple summer hot out and to me that just screams purple eyeshadow so if you're into seeing how they got this look and kind of watching the OJ Simpson parole hearing in the background I'll see you in a bit Bye. okay so I'm back with a tutorial it's been quite a while I'm filming on my phone because my camera wouldn't charge so I guess I have to get a new one um, so what I started off with on my face is the L'Oreal Revitalist or Revitalift moisture blur it's a moisturizer it kind of blurs the pores it's okay I'm just trying to use it up um, then I went in with my Maybelline dream matte mousse in porcelain ivory this one's okay I like the way that it looks but I don't know if you can tell like when you look in the thing like when you scoop it out um, it has like little balls and then they're like if you don't blend it in with your finger they fall and get all over your clothes which is kind of annoying but it is a nice foundation then i went in with the maybelline um fit me concealer in 10 or 15 fair that's just one under the eyes in a triangle motion i set it with um oh forgot to grab that my Givenchy um prismatic or prism vis visage um the lighting's a little off but it has like a light pink a purple or like a purpley lilac blue a little bit green and then a yellow um, set my under eyes with that set my entire face with the Sephora light um, micro smooth baked powder love these just as good as the MAC mineralized skin finish then I went in with my Tarte also forgot to grab that my Tarte Park Avenue princess bronzer I went along the forehead just on the top um just on the cheeks not really where you would contour because it is so shimmery then i went in with the tarte party um blush really like this it's in the birthday gift brows are the brow beater by urban decay in warm brown very similar to the um anastasia brow is and my highlight is this Makeup Revolution Pro Illumination or Pro Illuminate. Um, it doesn't have a color on it, so it's just the one that's kind of peachy. It reminds me a lot of Champagne Pop. Finally, prime the lid with MAC um, Paint Pot and Painterly. So it's just a nice pinky flesh tone color. Then the two palettes I'm going to use for my eyes are the Naked Basics Ult or the Naked Ultimate Basics by Urban Decay. And I kind of want to do a pop of color, um, and so I'm using this Makeup Forever Artist Shadows Volume 2, and I'm really digging this purple or this, like, teal or um, this, like, bright blue. I don't know. We'll see where the wind takes me. So first, I'm going to take this It Cosmetics um, C4292 um, Airbrush Blending Crease Blush brush. Just kind of looks like that. Nothing super fancy. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Commando. It's just this one right here. And I'm just going to blend it into the crease a little bit higher than the crease normally would be. Just because I really want that shadow to kind of peek through with whatever I put in my actual crease and in when I blend my outer corner. So just kind of haphazardly placing this. It's just a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. So just kind of starting on the outer portion, blending it through into the inner corner. Quick note, wherever you place the brush first is where most of the product is going to be um, placed. So if you place the shadow here, that's where most of the product's going to be. And usually, now it depends on the look you're going for, usually you want it to be on the outer portion of the eye. Then I'm going to switch brushes. This is a Kylie brush that I got with the Royal Peach um, palette. That palette is okay. I do like this brush though. I'm going to go just a little bit deeper. Oops, if I don't drop it. And I'm actually going to go into Lockout. So it's this kind of deeper brown. Just very lightly on the brush. Just these shadows can pack a punch. I'm going to start on the outer third of the lid. And I'm just going to kind of work that in and up to the crease. Now the reason I'm going in with all of these matte shades is the shadows in the Makeup Forever palette are super metallic. 
so I don't want there to be too much shimmer on the lids um, and that's just a personal preference girl dude whoever you are if you like metallic everywhere you do you boo I'm not here to judge I'm just telling you and walking you through what I would do so then I went back in with the shadow and placing a little bit more on the outer portion and then I'm gonna start dragging it into the inner corner so just kind of placing the brush to where just the tip of the brush is in the crease I'm just gonna start blending it in going again with the other eye Okay, nothing's on this brush, but I'm just going to buff over the edges just so I get that seamless blend. Just checking the depth and the placement. I'm going to place just a little bit more on this outer corner here just to kind of even them up a little. Do not be afraid to go back in and adjust a look at any point in time. So now I'm taking this flat shader brush by e.l.f. I love this brush. It is a dollar. It is phenomenal. It is the best dollar I've ever spent. So what I think I'm going to do, because I'm wearing this kind of like purpley blue shade, I think I'm going to go in with this purple here on the lid. I'm just really feeling color. I haven't done a colorful look in, I don't even remember how long. Um... So I'm just going to place this purple shadow on the lid. I'm going to build it up. It's the number one thing with shadows. I feel like a lot of people just want to go straight in and put as much product down as possible. Girl. Dude. Person. Animal. Build up the color. It may take a little bit longer but you're gonna be able to place the shadow where you want it and you can build the intensity. Now, the only thing I'm afraid of is with these shadows, because they are so intense, I'm a little bit afraid it's gonna stain my lid purple. But you know what? I put a primer down, hopefully that'll stop it, but you never know what's gonna happen. And that's life. Maybe I just have to wear a purple shadow for a couple days. They always say that brown eyes should wear purple. It makes them pop. Also, my parents are coming into town today, so I'm pretty sure my dad's going to be like, what are you doing? Why are you embarrassing me? At least it's not as bad as what my grandma um, told me a couple Christmases ago when she first saw me at my aunt's house on Christmas Day. I was wearing some pretty awesome false lashes. They were my Huda, Bo Huda, Booty? Huda Beauty false lashes in Samantha. They're phenomenal. I love those. Um, and I was wearing Kat Von D Exorcism, which is a nice, deep, like, wine color. Uh, it's so beautiful. Um, and then I was wearing a faux fur vest that I got from Target that everybody at work calls my Wookiee vest. But that's fine. I love it so much. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but in this, the purple starting to blend into the crease, which I think is really pretty because it's kind of merging with that brown. So I'm going to flip this. So all the products on this side, I'm going to flip it to where it's up in my crease and just kind of blend that into that, which is really pretty. Anyways, back to my story. This is normal life with me. Um, I walk in and I was like, Merry Christmas, Grandma. And my grandma looks at me and goes, you're a little much, aren't you? Also, I'm watching the OJ parole hearing. Well, I'm now just filming and have it in the background. Um, but Bay and I watched the TV series that's on Netflix now about the hearing where, like, David Schwimmer plays Rob Kardashian and um, Cuba, Gooding, Cuba Gooding Jr. plays OJ. It was really good. It had me all the feels. Um, so now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this color called Blow from the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. And I'm just going to go under my brows. I 
It is like 90 bazillion degrees outside, so I'm like running the air like a crazy woman. Our power bill is going to be so high, but you know, that's life. Okay, so I'm just blending that a little bit more. I'm going to go back into the lockout shade, which is that deeper brown. And I'm just going to blend into the crease a little bit more. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the shadow brush again. I'm going to take the purple and try and just build up certain spots that aren't as intense. Now these Makeup Forever shadows are really nice, but I have noticed that the super metallic ones especially if there's color and purple is notorious for being patchy when you apply it um, just going over it again and trying to build up intensity but purple is so pretty that it's totally worth it to deal with that okay I'm kind of happy with that so now I'm going to take this um, real techniques and it's all worn off it's like a small shadow shader brush. I'm going to take this really pretty um, like light shade but it has just a hint of like a lilac to it so it's going to go well and I'm just going to place this on the inner corner. This is so rambly this tutorial. Also I had like no idea what I was doing when I like started filming. I knew I wanted to do a pop of color but I didn't really know where I was going with it so just a rambly little deal with me but that's just who I am as a person so I'm pretty sure um I thought something important had happened there but not really okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this deep dark plum shade and I'm just gonna start building that on the outer part of my lower lash line Oh, sorry about all my sniffles with the air conditioning. It's just making my nose run. It's like running a marathon. Something I'll never do. All right, getting it going. Just blending, blending. Okay, then I'm going to wipe off that brush. This is the best invention, this little Sephora mini color swatch thing. Um, it's just like a sponge and you just like take your brush and you just swirl it and all of the product comes off so you can just like literally use 20 bazillion colors and you don't have to like wipe your brush off and clean it and wait for it to dry, which is phenomenal. I'm going to take that purple that's on the lid, same brush just kind of start working it on the portion so blending it with the inner corner color and then blending it with the darker purple shade which it just looks black it just looks like a blackened purple that's my problem with like some really dark shades i'm like oh my gosh they look so pretty in the pan like that's the most perfect um deep olive but then when you put it on the eyes it just looks black it just looks like a dark shade okay now what I'm gonna do is drop my brush into my drawer but I'm also gonna take this deep dark purple same Kylie brush just barely tap into it flick off the excess and I'm just gonna deepen that outer corner just a little bit more I just feel like that's what needs to happen with this look Oh yes, so much better. So, so much better. That is everything that I needed it to do. Just gonna brush over the edge so that it blends with the lid shade. Perfect, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to line my lash line with this Lancome um, liner. It's 
something that I got in gratis and my sister actually used it and she loves it but it, you can like tilt this thing um, but what's nice is it has a really steady tip so I'm going to do that do my mascara put lower lash line on and then lip color and I'll be back because right, everyone so this is the finished look I set my eyebrows with the NYX control freak um clear brow gel phenomenal eyebrow gel love it love it love it also on the lips, I have the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in HVLS05. Don't know what that means, but it's just a nice kind of neutral brown. As I stated on the um, upper lash line for the liner, I have the Lancome Granulose Liner in black. And then you can like do all this and stuff. Pretty easy to use, pretty foolproof. Then on the lower lash line, in the inner rim, I have the Laura Geller New York Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Blackbird. Um, don't know how I feel about this yet. I've only used it once before. It was okay. I, it was quite a bit ago, so I'll, I'll give you a rundown of what I think of it um, after today, hopefully in the comments or whatever below. Then for the upper lash line lashes, because I'm super extra like that, started off with the <laughs> MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. This is just a little sample. It reminds me of the Benefit Better uh, Are There Real Lashes uh, Mascara. Then I use the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Again, another sample. Trying that out. It's pretty nice. Um, both of them are fine on their own. I just like the MAC one because it gives more length and the Dior one because it gives more volume. And then on the lower lashes, this is one of my favorites. It is the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This I like to use on my lower lash line because I know it doesn't budge. It doesn't go anywhere. This one goes everywhere. So do not use this on the lower lash line if you have a problem with smudging. And this is the final look. I tried to get through that as pos quickly as possible. Just a quick close up. So yeah, sorry that I keep looking over into the screen just to make sure everyone can see anything or everything. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so this is like my first video in like three-ish years. So it was super fun. Hopefully I can start to do this more often.